Once upon a time, in a quaint little town, there was a young individual named Dennis, who had been tirelessly searching for a job. However, the opportunities in the local ads were limited, mostly offering mundane labor or fast food positions with minimal pay. But then, one day, fate led Dennis to stumble upon a job opening at a local law office. Excited about the prospect of working in a more professional environment, Dennis decided to apply. Arriving at the small, inconspicuous building, Dennis noticed a clutter of papers and books on the desks in the main office. He cautiously called out to see if anyone was around, and a lovely voice responded, inviting him into her office. As he stepped inside, he saw a graceful lady managing the paperwork while conversing on the phone. She motioned for him to take a seat, and he patiently waited until she finished her call. With a warm smile, the lady asked how she could help him. Dennis showed her the ad for a legal secretary position that she had placed in the paper. The lady, whose name was Donna, acknowledged her need for a secretary and complimented Dennis on his qualifications. However, she explained that she was looking for a woman secretary because it was more traditional. Dennis, determined to use his skills and intelligence rather than resorting to menial labor, expressed his desire for the job. After a bit of persuading, Donna finally relented and hired him, instructing him to report the next day. At first, Dennis found the office a bit chaotic, but with time, he learned the ropes and settled into his role. He diligently handled phone calls and typed reports in the outer office, while Donna worked in her private chamber. Donna was an excellent lawyer in her early 50s, with a buxom build that contrasted with Dennis's slight frame. She playfully teased him, suggesting he should wear high heels to surpass her height. As days went by, Dennis couldn't help but notice that Donna's attire had a slight masculine touch. Curiosity peaked, he brushed it off until one fateful Friday afternoon. Donna called him into her office, where he expected to discuss work-related matters. To his surprise, she handed him a small package, which contained a pair of silky feminine panties adorned with lace and bows. Confused and taken aback, Dennis questioned the unexpected gift. Donna, with a playful smile, informed him that she wanted him to wear these panties under his suit while at work. She emphasized that she preferred a more traditionally feminine presence in her office, and assured him that no one else would know. Although hesitant at first, Dennis reluctantly agreed to comply, realizing that keeping his job was crucial. As the weeks passed, Dennis adapted to wearing panties daily. However, Donna didn't stop there. She continued to introduce more feminine items into his wardrobe, from pantyhose to camisoles, and even pedicured his nails to complete the transformation. Despite Dennis' initial resistance, he found himself growing accustomed to the change. It helped that Donna was understanding and supportive, offering praise and compliments on his new appearance. With time, Dennis felt more and more like the woman he was dressing as, adopting the name Deborah to embrace his transformed identity. Soon, Donna decided to take the transformation to the next level. She invited Deborah to spend a week at her home, where she could fully immerse herself in the feminine lifestyle. Although unsure of what awaited her, Deborah agreed, feeling the allure of this new world. During that transformative week, Deborah was pampered and feminized from head to toe. Donna provided her with a new wardrobe, corseted her waist, widened her hips with a padded girdle, and even taught her to walk gracefully in high heels. Her eyebrows were shaped, her ears pierced, and her hair dyed a bright blonde styled in elegant curls. When Deborah returned to the office, she was barely recognizable as the once hesitant Dennis. The world saw a sophisticated and confident woman who embodied the epitome of a legal secretary. No one suspected that she was anything other than Deborah, the talented and poised professional. As the days turned into weeks, Deborah's new identity became a natural part of her life. Her interactions with colleagues and clients were seamless, and she relished the satisfaction of being true to herself. Despite the challenges she faced, Deborah found strength in her femininity and the bond she shared with Donna. And so, the story of Deborah, the cross-dressing legal secretary, became a tale of self-discovery, acceptance, and empowerment. Through the guidance and acceptance of her mentor, Donna, Deborah found the courage to embrace her true identity, making her mark in a world that had initially seemed uncertain and daunting. As the weeks turned into months, Deborah's confidence and sense of self continued to grow. She excelled at her job, impressing clients with her professionalism and dedication. 
Her attention to detail and organizational skills earned her praise from colleagues and superiors alike. Deborah's transformation from Dennis was complete, and she felt a newfound sense of fulfillment and purpose in her life. Outside of work, Deborah gradually built a circle of supportive friends who accepted and celebrated her for who she was. She found herself drawn to communities that embraced diversity and provided a safe space for people to express their authentic selves. Deborah's journey as a crossdresser became an inspiration to others struggling with their identities, and she became an advocate for acceptance and understanding. Donna, the woman who had played a significant role in Deborah's transformation, became more than just a mentor. She became a dear friend and confidant. The bond between the two deepened, and Deborah felt immense gratitude for the opportunities and support Donna had given her. As Deborah's confidence blossomed, she decided to explore her creative side. She began writing a blog, sharing her experiences as a crossdresser and advocating for gender inclusivity. Her blog quickly gained a dedicated following, touching the lives of many individuals who had faced similar challenges and struggles. Deborah's talent and dedication did not go unnoticed within the legal community either. Her commitment to her work and exceptional performance led to more significant responsibilities and promotions. Soon, she found herself taking on more complex cases and working alongside Donna on high-profile litigation. In time, Deborah's personal and professional life merged harmoniously. She became known as an intelligent and compassionate legal secretary, admired not only for her skills, but also for her resilience and authenticity. Deborah's presence in the office created an environment of openness and acceptance, making it a place where everyone felt valued and respected. One day, a particularly meaningful case came across Deborah's desk. It involved advocating for the rights of individuals who face discrimination based on their gender identity. Fueled by her personal journey and a deep sense of justice, Deborah threw herself into the case with unwavering determination. Her commitment to the cause was infectious, and soon the entire law office was united in their pursuit of justice. As the case progressed, Deborah found herself at the forefront of a movement for gender equality. Her story, shared through her blog and the media, resonated with people around the world. Advocacy organizations reached out to her, asking her to speak at events and conferences, amplifying her voice and influence. The case ultimately resulted in a groundbreaking ruling that protected the rights of gender-diverse individuals, setting a precedent for future legal battles. Deborah's impact extended far beyond the courtroom, as her courage and determination inspired countless others to embrace their authentic selves. Deborah's journey as a cross-dressing legal secretary was a testament to the power of self-acceptance and the importance of creating inclusive spaces where people could thrive without fear of judgment. Her story became a symbol of hope and resilience, reminding everyone that embracing one's true self was not only liberating, but also a catalyst for positive change in the world. As the years passed, Deborah continued to break barriers, fighting for equality and promoting understanding and empathy. She became a prominent advocate for LGBTQ rights, contributing to the progress of society towards a more inclusive future. In the end, Deborah's story touched the hearts of people worldwide, leaving an indelible mark on the history of the fight for equality and acceptance. Her legacy lived on through the lives she had changed and the hearts she had touched, proving that the power of authenticity and love could transform not just individuals but the world itself. And so, the cross-dressing legal secretary named Deborah became a beacon of hope, a symbol of strength, and a guiding light for generations to come. As Deborah's influence and impact continued to grow, she embarked on a new chapter in her life. Recognizing the need for more representation and support for gender-diverse individuals in the legal profession, Deborah decided to establish an organization dedicated to advocating for equality and inclusivity in the workplace. With the help of supportive colleagues, friends, and allies, Deborah founded the Inclusive Legal Advocacy Society, ELAS. The organization aimed to create a network of legal professionals committed to promoting diversity, breaking down barriers, and fostering an environment where everyone could thrive, regardless of their gender identity or expression. ELAS quickly gained momentum and support from both within the legal community and beyond. 
lawyers, paralegals, and other legal professionals came together under the banner of ELAS to work towards creating a more equitable and inclusive legal system. The organization offered training sessions and workshops to educate legal professionals on the unique challenges faced by gender-diverse individuals and how to best support them. In, in addition to her work with ELAS, Deborah continued her advocacy efforts through public speaking engagements, media appearances, and collaborations with other prominent activists. She used her platform to shed light on issues facing the LGBTQ community and to call for systemic change. As Deborah's fame and influence grew, she also faced challenges. There were those who disagreed with her message and tried to undermine her work. However, Deborah remained steadfast and focused knowing that the impact she was making was far greater than any criticism. Throughout her journey, Deborah received numerous awards and accolades for her dedication to equality and social justice. She was recognized as a trailblazer in the legal profession and a role model for those seeking to live authentically. But the most meaningful rewards came from the countless individuals whose lives she had touched and transformed. Elas expanded its reach, opening chapters in cities across the country. It became a beacon of hope for gender-diverse individuals pursuing careers in law, offering mentorship programs, scholarships, and resources to help them navigate the profession with confidence. Deborah's personal life also flourished. She met a kind and understanding partner, and together they shared a loving and supportive relationship. Her partner fully embraced Deborah for who she was, and they built a life of happiness and mutual respect. As time passed, Deborah became an icon in the LGBTQ community, a symbol of strength and resilience. Her story was taught in schools, and her blog became a source of inspiration for countless individuals facing their own struggles with identity and acceptance. The impact of Deborah's work went beyond the legal profession, it transcended boundaries and touched hearts worldwide. She was invited to speak at international conferences and events, where her message of acceptance and love resonated with diverse audiences. In her later years, Deborah reflected on her journey with a sense of pride and fulfillment. She had achieved what she once thought was impossible, not only for herself but for countless others who found courage and hope in her story. Deborah's legacy lived on, shaping a more inclusive world where people were valued for who they were, regardless of their gender identity. As her time on this earth drew to a close, Deborah felt a sense of peace, knowing that her life had made a difference. Surrounded by loved ones, she passed away knowing that she had left a lasting impact on society, and her spirit continued to inspire future generations to embrace authenticity, love, and acceptance. The world mourned the loss of Deborah, but her memory lived on through loss and the countless lives she had touched. The legal profession, once known for its rigid traditions, had been forever transformed by the legacy of a cross-dressing legal secretary who had dared to be true to herself and had made the world a better, more inclusive place for all. In the years following Deborah's passing, the impact of her life's work continued to reverberate through society. Elas, the organization she founded, flourished under the leadership of dedicated individuals who shared her vision of a more inclusive legal profession. The organization expanded its reach globally, reaching out to support gender-diverse individuals in various professions and industries. Deborah's story became a symbol of resilience, love, and acceptance, inspiring countless individuals to embrace their true selves and stand up for their rights. Books and documentaries were made to honor her life and the transformative change she brought to the world. Her name became synonymous with progress and compassion. In the legal world, Many law firms and organizations adopted inclusive policies, recognizing the value of diversity in the workplace. The profession saw a significant increase in the representation of gender-diverse individuals, breaking down barriers and dispelling stereotypes. As time passed, society as a whole became more accepting and understanding of gender diversity. Discrimination and prejudice, though not fully eradicated, were met with stronger resistance, and the fight for equality persisted. The annual Deborah Williams Memorial Awards were established to honor individuals who continued her legacy by promoting inclusivity and equal rights. The award ceremony became a global event, drawing influential figures, celebrities, and activists from all corners of the world. Deborah's partner, whom she had shared her life with in love and support, 
established the Deborah Williams Foundation. The foundation focused on providing scholarships, support, and resources to gender-diverse individuals pursuing careers in law and other professions. It became a beacon of hope for those who felt marginalized and unsupported, empowering them to reach their fullest potential. In the halls of the law office where Deborah once worked, a small memorial was erected in her honor. A plaque bearing her name and a brief description of her life's accomplishments stood as a testament to the courage and determination of one person to change the world for the better. And so, Deborah's story lived on, not only in history books, but in the hearts of those who continued the fight for equality. Her impact reached far beyond the boundaries of time, leaving an enduring legacy of love, acceptance, and progress. As the years passed, the world continued to evolve, and Deborah's dream of a truly inclusive society in which all individuals were valued and respected became closer to reality. The struggles were not over, but her indomitable spirit continued to inspire generations to come, reminding them that the power to change the world for the better resided within each of them. And so, the story of Deborah Williams, the cross-dressing legal secretary, who became a champion for equality, remained etched in history as a tale of courage, compassion, and the profound impact that one person could have on the world. Her journey was a testament to the human spirit's ability to transcend societal norms, rewrite narratives, and pave the way for a brighter, more inclusive future.